Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. We're just going to continue on from the last tutorial where we configured the console line, but this time we're going to configure the VTY line. So go back onto your PC, back into Terminal, and click on OK. If you hadn't set up from the last tutorial, I've just dragged on an 1841 router, a PC, and connected it with a console cable. I'm just going to press enter to get started. Because I've already used this router for the console tutorial, I need to put in my password, which I set as Cisco. If this is the first tutorial you're following, you'll just have to press uh, enter at this point, and you should be prompted with the word router. So what we're going to do is just move up through the levels again. So enable, configure terminal, or comp T. And this time we're going to type in line VTY. 0, 4. There are five VTY lines in total, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You will be prompted for this in your Cisco Discovery exams and possibly even your CSENT. They will normally ask how many VTY lines there are on the router. Make sure it, you answer 5. It's so common to type in the answer as 4 because it's always 0 to 4, but remember to count the 0. It's 5 in total. So I'm going to press Enter. And same deal as before, all we do now is type in password followed by our password, which in this case is Cisco. And type in the word login. And we've enabled a password on the VTY lines. The VTY lines are there for us to be able to telnet into our router. So rather than connecting in via the console, we should be able to now telnet in from one of our PCs that are connected if this was an active network. So I'm just going to end from here, and just going to save my config. And that's the end of this tutorial, very short and sweet. Like I said, it's just Discovery Semester 2, so just an introduction. We'll show you a lot more things in the VTY lines that can be configured in later tutorials. Thank you for watching.